Привіт, привіт, my dear students and followers. My name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. Unfortunately, this is not a video lesson about Ukrainian language or grammar. In this video, I would like to talk to you about the war that started in Ukraine on February 24. I woke up at 6 a.m. from the big explosion and we Ukrainians didn't believe that it is possible. Yes, we heard a lot of warnings from the United States, from the European media, but we didn't believe actually that it is actually possible. I'm sorry for repeating, but I'm still shocked and stressed. I live in the city of Kherson. It is located um, in the south of Ukraine. It borders with Crimea. And um, today is the 27th of February. This is the fourth day of war. And um, Kherson, Kiev and Kharkiv are the hottest places in Ukraine. Because Kherson borders with Crimea, as I said, and the Russians uh, send many troops from the Crimea every day. And we have very big fights at the bridge that connects um, the city of Kherson and other uh, city, city of Oleshke. Kharkiv is located on the east of Ukraine and is the biggest city of, U uh, of Ukraine there and Kiev is the capital, of course they want to, to get it. But you won't get it. Fuck your Russians. We Ukrainians, we have a very big spirit and you will never break us. We will fight till the end. So um, Putin wanted to, uh, to make us weaker and to divide people. But happened something miracle. Ukrainians connected all together and started to fight here in Ukraine and abroad. I want to tell you that I still I still can't believe I still can't believe it. Really, it, it is it is horrible. What I wanted to say uh, it's very it's very tough and um, my city is bombing very often. And we hear uh, bombs, shooting, and aircrafts. My husband is at war, and I hide together with two of my uh, friends. Uh, they are two kids, up to two years old, a dog, and the parents and grandparents of my friend. Our uh, three hu husbands are at war. We are hiding in the cold basement. It is very cold and there are no any conditions and um, we spend there a lot of time and when it is a little bit quiet we can come back to our apartment take a shower go to the toilet at the normal person and not in the bucket um, uh, to cook some food and to bring it to the basement and it is very cold there because in ukraine in the south of Ukraine it's uh, plus 7 right now, but at night it's 0 degree and next week it will be colder. And um, I even got a cold today and I feel weakness and a temperature, but I will try to not to be, I'm not going to give up ever, so I'm just staying in my apartment drinking a lot of hot tea, taking medicine, and then I will continue to fight with all Ukrainians. So please follow all the news, support Ukraine. Also, guys, I wanted to tell you that I really appreciate the support of all my followers. Guys, I received so many great words from you on Instagram. You can subscribe to my Instagram account because there I post stories about all recent news, what is going on, how you can support Ukrainians, 
uh, the links for donations. Uh, also, I show how I survive here in Ukraine, uh, and uh, um, I can't uh, move to another city or country currently to the safest place because um, as you know the uh, it is very difficult to get from one city to another one and there are a lot of army soldiers and it can be dangerous and of course I need to go to the west of Ukraine and it takes uh, approximately 20 hours uh, to drive there and if we're going to stuck in the uh, traffic jams because many Ukrainians uh, are escaping right now it will be very difficult because I have uh, two friends and two small kids they are very small and uh, we can't uh, spend um, more than 24 hours uh, driving the car when it is very cold outside and um, many gasoline stations don't work in Ukraine so we can just stuck in the middle of nowhere so it is very dangerous so right now we don't have an opportunity to move to another city I don't even talk about the country because there are a lot of traffic jams at the borders right now so it's very tough but I hope we will find a decision because it can last for a long time the war and Kherson is one of the hardest spot because it borders from with Crimea and they bring a lot of troops so so guys your your help is very big for us from the whole world you make me stronger you help me to be motivated and I really appreciate you please help us whenever you can do this um, below in this video I will leave uh, all possible links how you can save Ukrainians life how you can support our army how you can support me and also how you can uh, support Ukrainian refugees um, also please share this video on different social media don't be silent uh, shout about uh, Ukrainian Ukrainians about the war what is going on here please sign up different petitions uh, share information on, on all your social media um, go to the meetings it is very very important maybe you can think okay I live somewhere in the United States in Ukraine oh, it's far from from me I don't care about it oh it's a poor um, country that's their problem guys you're not right this war causes everybody please it is very important it is the 21st century and we have war in Europe the situation never happens since the Second World War and Ukraine is a shield for Europe and for the whole world from the Russia, from the fucking Russian army, the biggest and dangerous army in the world. And NATO, they don't want to support us. Also, please write to NATO that they need to close the sky connections from the Russia. It is very important. Guys, this is very serious because it's not just the problem or the crisis in Ukraine. This is the crisis and the war of the whole world. And if you support us, then we will we will win the Putler. Putler, he's like a Hitler. If he will take Ukraine, he will never stop. He would like to go to Poland, to Germany. He would like to continue. You know the history very well, and the history is repeated. So please, guys, let's join. Let's fight together. And you know that evil, he will always lose, and we will win. Slava Ukraini, smert vorham.